Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about SNES GT for your Nintendo Sufami Turbo setup. So get ready. Alright guys, so first things first, you will go to the main menu wizard and you'll push the plus sign and you'll type in Nintendo Sufami Turbo and you will select your uh, uh, sub wheel as uh, selection. It will congratulate you and what you're going to want to do is go to the wheel settings, click Nintendo Sufami Turbo and you'll mirror what I've got here. Everything's blank. We've got the Hyper Launch XE Nintendo Sufami Turbo and the the name displayed there at the uh, command line. Uh, we've got everything disabled here. And what I like to do is make everything streamlined. So all these settings are uh, essentially the same for all of my systems. I've got the alpha set to 0.15. You can kind of see this nice fade approach here. Uh, the navigation and themes, we've got animate out default themes and reload backgrounds. Uh, those are the important ones. Video is set to blank. Sound is blank. And special art, I do use that. So I have special art A, B, and C enabled. And with the uh, placements that I have here, I've got A and B down at the bottom and then C at the top right corner. So that's all you got to do with Hyper uh, HQ. This is essentially just creating your media folder so you can uh, get down to business. So next we're going to close HyperHQ. And just to uh, have you guys see where this is, Hyper, uh, uh, hyper List. Okay, let me pull this up here. So Hyper List is where you'll find all your databases uh, like I've uh, shown you in prior videos. Uh, you'll just scroll down to Nintendo uh, Sufami uh, Turbo here and you will get the database uh, that is here. Uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. So I, I'm not seeing. All right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to provide you with the XML, and uh, I've got a special announcement uh, coming here. So, um, you know, we're essentially gonna be uh, using MU Movies uh, FTP and I'm going to be uh, providing some of the media uh, that is shared there. So it's going to be literally drag and drop if you're following my tutorials. And uh, this will be one of those files. So uh, Nintendo Sufami Turbo should be on Hyperlist, but it doesn't appear to be doing so. So normally you would just push the uh, XML button here. So. Uh, we're just going to move on and uh, just know that it will be on uh, the FTP. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that special announcement that I will be releasing uh, here in a bit. And uh, we'll keep on going here. Uh, also on Hyperspin, there's not a lot of media um, that uh, you're going to find for uh, the Sufami Turbo. Uh, so the Hyperspin FTP does have uh, some of that media. Uh, what I will be doing is sharing the media that I've created uh, as well as found. Uh, it will be on the Emmy Movies uh, FTP. And uh, just as a, a quick preview here, let me get down to where it's at here. So the pointer um, I, I basically created, you know, I figure it's passable here, uh, you know, for a, a pointer, if you will. That was the little logo on the, the box. Uh, if you will. Uh, also have some wheel art. Uh, I've got bordered wheel art. Uh, you can kind of see, um, you know, th this is mostly a, a Japanese. Uh, uh, there's no really translations, if you will, but I've got the nice uh, border approach on all of them. Uh, I, you know, I hope you like it because uh, that's, that's what I've got here. Uh, there's only 15 games here and uh, yeah, so we're going to uh, move right along here. I think I might have. No, I don't have any box art. I thought I might have. Oh, yeah, 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 there it is. So I've got some box art here. 
Uh, it's got that weird shape. Uh, that was just the, the games itself, I guess. But uh, yeah, so there, there you have it. Um, I didn't create all of these, but uh, I believe I did resize them. Uh, yep, so that's what that folder here is. This is my batch resizer uh, aspect here. If you guys use a photo resizer, uh, you are familiar with that folder. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. And uh, let's see, the letters, there's, yeah. So I've got letters here, but I don't know if those actually populate uh if the system has less than 24, yep, has less than 24 games, the letters won't show up in uh, Hyperspin. That's just a uh, sort of prereq, if you will. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I've got genre art. I mean, it's, it's all pretty well standard in all my systems. So uh, we're gonna move on and, uh, you know, I'll provide that XML so you can uh, play with it. And what you'll do is you'll just put it in your database folder and you'll go down to your uh, Nintendo Sufami uh, Turbo folder and you'll just drop it in there. So we're going to get this thing set up. It's not a too bad of a system here. So first things first, I'm going to go to Rocket Launcher UI. And I'm going to go to the Global tab and we're going to set up this SNES GT uh, emulator. So you're going to scroll down to SNES GT. There you have it. If you don't see that, you'll just push the plus sign to add the emulator. But I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And then you're going to find the path uh, of where your SNES GT XE is. And I just realized we haven't done that yet. So what we're going to do is go to our browser. And the uh, link in the description below will take you here. And this is totally uh, legit, guys. Uh, but you know, for what it's worth, you see some Japanese uh, uh, writing below. Um, this is actually supported in the Rocket Launcher module. Uh, so to find the download, you're just gonna click here, SNESGT, and you'll down that, uh, download that file. You'll extract the file in your emulator folder. And uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's for the download. So once you've extracted it, you're gonna put it in your SNES GT folder and you'll map that here in Rocket Launcher. And the ROM extensions are zip, pipe, SMC pipe, FIG pipe, or FIG I should say. And the module is gonna be set to your module folder, uh, Rocket Launcher modules, SNES GT, and then the auto hotkey. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close that out. And you're gonna scroll down to Nintendo uh, Sufami Turbo. And a couple things we just won't need to set up uh, in the settings tab, main settings. Everything looks to be default. Uh, use global settings. If you haven't already, check out my rocket launcher uh, setup uh, for these global settings. We've got uh, skip checks set to false. Uh, with the fade general tab, everything's set to use global, so we're good there. And then we've got uh, bezels. Uh, those are the, really the three money tabs, guys. Main settings, fade general, and bezel. Uh, so I've got everything set to uh, use global, so th that's all good. And then we're gonna go to emulators tab. So you're gonna uh, basically find the games and uh, you'll map that to your, uh, your game folder by pushing the plus sign. And then your default emulator, you're just gonna hit the magnifying glass. You're going to select SNES GT. You can see there's other emulators here, but they don't do as uh, good of job. So I'm going to close that out. And we're going to go to the modules tab. And if you click on SNES GT, you're going to click the little paper icon. And you can see that the most current version is Beta 7 Edition, which is that link that I just showed you there. And let's see, edit global settings. It looks like... Yep, there's nothing even to really play with. So I just click that edit global module settings. So that's it with uh, Rocket Launcher UI. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Uh, we're almost done guys. And we're gonna open up the emulator, which is here, SNES GT. And I'm just gonna breeze through some of these options. I'm gonna go to options, settings. And you're gonna see something that looks like this. If I go to the video tab, this is what it looks like for me. 
and we're going to move on to sound. I've got enabled sound on and speed. I've got set 60 frames per second. Controller, so this is where we're going to be mapping your, uh, your keys. So just click in the field and then press the associated keys that you want. Change the pad number to player two if you want player two set up. And yeah, so we're going to keep on going. Shortcuts, uh, this is all defaults, I believe. But, uh, you know, put in what you want. Again, Rocket Launcher is going to take over. So, uh, you know, kind of keep that in mind in general uh, with the keys that you've got set up. So we've got directory here. I've got things uh, saved by default to the save folder in the uh, designated uh, SNESGT folder. And then BS, uh, we've got uh, everything set to default here. And then finally the detail tab, I can click on some of these. We're just gonna open them up so you can uh, mirror what I've got here, but I don't think I actually played with anything uh, funny here. And that's it guys, you'll hit apply and hit okay. I'm going to go ahead and close out the settings. We're going to go to display next under options and everything looks to be normal there. Set the input to pad. Language is set to English and let's see tools. Yep. So that is it guys. So that was a quick one tonight and uh, I hope uh, that helps you guys uh, get Nintendo Sufami Turbo uh, up and running. It is a Japanese based system but uh, it's got a couple fun games in there so uh Hope you like it, and uh, we'll catch you next time. All right.